Hi, I'm Chad. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to recalibrate the wheel speed sensors on your 2017 to 2020 Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory and RR and 2017 to 2020 Aprilia RS V4 factory and RR. In addition to that, I'm going to talk a little bit about why I think it's important to recalibrate your wheel speed sensors regularly and share some research that I conducted to present both sides of the argument as to why this should be a part of your regular maintenance. The first, let's recalibrate. So the recalibration procedure is quite simple. All you will need is your motorcycle running and a straight flat road. So we have those things here. So what we are going to do, you can get a little bit closer so you can see, bike in neutral at a stop, scroll down to menu, select menu, APRC configuration, calibration. I'm gonna select that. Calibration running speed not correct. That means we are ready to calibrate. You can see that there. So what we're gonna do is get the bike up into second gear and hold a speed of 25 miles an hour for about 10 seconds or 40 kilometers an hour if your bike reads in units that way or if you're in part of the world that does kilometers per hour. After we have completed that, we're gonna get a message on the dash that says it's okay, the wheel speeds have been calibrated and to shut the engine off for 60 seconds and we're just gonna pull to the side of the road and do that. Perfect. All right, so first gear pulling away. So we go, second gear, hold that speed. I'm using the rear brake a little bit just to help with that. And we're done. Pull over to the side of the road and turn the key off. So while we wait, talk a little bit about why I'm doing this. I'm taking my bike to the racetrack tomorrow. I'm prepping my bike and this is one of the things that I want to do. Make sure my wheel speed sensors are properly calibrated so my traction control and wheelie control and cornering ABS are functioning at peak performance. So in the owner's manual, Aprilia recommends that you recalibrate your wheel speed sensors each time you perform a tire change or a gearing change. I haven't done either of those things but something that I like to keep in mind is one, this is a pretty easy procedure to do. It only takes a few minutes of your time and your tires do wear over time, so the overall diameter of them does shrink. And being that, especially with the Tuono here, and the fact that the engine produces so much power and torque, generally your rear tire is going to wear up quite a bit faster than your front. So making sure that the system is properly calibrated routinely will help ensure that all of your electronics are functioning at peak performance. So with that, 60 seconds should be done. Turn the key back on. And we'll carry on our way. So again, as explained in the Aprilia owner's manual for the Tuono V4 and RS V4, Aprilia recommends that you complete this procedure each time you change your tires or each time you change your gearing. So I like to do it a little bit more frequently again just to compensate for tire wear. Even though based on the research that I did do on the Aprilia forum, it doesn't seem like it has that much of an effect recalibrating the wheel speed sensors. Even on tire changes, there have been a lot of people that haven't done it at all in the lifetime of their bikes and have gone through multiple sets of tires and have reported that they haven't seen any adverse effects. But again, being that this is the recommended procedure by Aprilia, I have been following it and plan to continue doing that and like to do it routinely again just because hey, why not? It couldn't hurt. Oh man, I just got hit by like bees or something. A swarm of them, it's super windy. talk a little bit about why you might want to consider doing this. The way that the 
electronics on the Tuono V4, RS V4, and most other motorcycles work, is they take a bunch of different data points from different sensors on the bike and use that data to make decisions on how much traction control is required to keep you upright and keep the bike with traction. How much electronic intervention is needed to ensure the bike has sufficient traction and that the front wheel is on the ground to the degree that you want it to be. Now one of those data points is the wheel speed sensors, which are two sensors, each of which is located on one wheel. So there's one sensor on the front wheel, one sensor on the rear wheel. And in addition to those sensors, each of your wheels has a wheel speed ring. It's a little ring on the hub of the wheel that has gaps in it. And what the sensors are doing are measuring the number of times those gaps pass on an ongoing basis, and that is how it determines the wheel speed. Now, a few things are going to affect the way these read. The biggest one is the size of your tires. A 190-55-17 tire, for example, or in my Tuono factory's case, a 255-17 rear tire from Pirelli is not going to be the same as one from Dunlop, or even the uh, Super Corsa compared to the Diablo Rosso 3s that I have on my bike are going to be a different diameter. The Super Corsa is a taller tire, larger diameter, therefore the rear wheel does not need to complete as many rotations to travel the same distance as the Rosso 3s because the diameter is a little bit lower thereby actually impacting your final drive. So putting a taller rear tire on your bike will affect your final drive in the way that it'll make your gearing taller and putting a smaller diameter tire will make your gearing shorter. That said, this is one of the reasons it's important to calibrate your wheel speed sensors and make sure that they are correctly compensating for the tires that you have because if you switch tires and end up with a taller tire on the rear but keep the same tire on the front, or just have more wear on your rear tire, the wheel speed sensors are going to read outside of their normal parameters. And you run the possibility of them thinking there might be a traction issue or something because of the variance in speeds between the front and the rear wheel. So I hope that makes sense. Again, people on the Aprilia forum, some have reported that they've changed tires multiple times between not only the same make and model of tire, but also different manufacturers and models and haven't recalibrated their wheel speed sensors and haven't seen any adverse effects. But again, take that with a grain of salt. It's really not a hard procedure to complete and perform. Maybe it is a little bit at the racetrack, but if you can find a good area in the pit or something where you can get up to speed away from people safely or just like in the parking lot or something, highly recommend it. Again, it can only do good. So why not just invest those couple minutes to get it done? Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful and educational. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a gentle little click of the like button. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content on 210 V4s and Aprilias. And I will catch you in the next one. Later.